Today, people across the globe are celebrating International Whiskey Day. But have you ever wondered how it goes from grain to the alcoholic drink in your glass? Well, to find out, our own Felicity Bosk went behind the scenes at the Chippewa River Distillery to learn the ins and outs of this drink. Whiskey has a long history, its origins tracing back centuries. And ever since, people across the globe have been perfecting the craft of distilling whiskey. So it, it really starts off, we get these thousand pound super sacks of grain, then it goes into this, uh, this big tank upstairs where we heat the water up and cook the grain. Then we take all that grain and we pump it right into a fermenter. Chippewa River Distillery Manager Gary Vinland says after a week and a half, the now fermented grain is sent to the distill room where it's heated to nearly 200 degrees in a copper kettle. Then it's moved to a column still where the alcohol becomes vapor. Any unwanted substances are separated and the alcohol content increases to around 80% before being reduced through a process involving reverse osmosis water. At this point, you may be wondering why the drink is clear. Well, that caramel color you see in your glass comes from aging inside the charred oak barrels for years. So we take 660 gallons in it of this mash product and it, its finished product is a 60 gallons, roughly. After all is said and done, the whiskey is bottled, served, and enjoyed. Cheers. Now, of course, there is more than one type of whiskey, for example, scotch or bourbon, that are all made with core similarities but undergo a few different processes that make them distinct.